In this video, I'm going to write a C program to sum the digits of a number. So we'll make a few variables to help us out. We'll say int number for storing the number, int sum for storing the sum, and int digit is equal to zero for storing the digits. Then we'll ask the user to enter the number and we'll store it into the number variable. So we'll say printf, enter number, and we'll use scanf, percent %d, and then and number to store the number entered into the number variable. Now the way we're gonna solve this problem is we're gonna repeatedly apply modulus 10 and divide by 10 to the number. Cause what we need to do is basically extract every digit from the number one at a time. So if I have a number say like 237, if I take this number and I do modulus 10, so 237 modulus 10, the result is going to be 7, the rightmost digit here, right? Because 10 is going to go into 237 23 times. And the remainder is going to be 7. So we get that first digit by doing modulus 10. Now, I need to extract the remaining digits. I need to look at 23 here now. So to do that, we're going to do divide by 10. Because I just said that 10 goes into 237 23 times. So we would say 237 divide by 10, and that's gonna give us 23. Now we would look at 23, and we would say, okay, 23 modulus 10 is gonna give us three, because 10 goes into 23 twice with three remainder. And then again, if we do a divide now, 23 divided by 10, that's gonna give us back two because 10 goes into 23 two times. And then we would just have two here. And then when we do two modulus 10, that's gonna give us back two, right? And now we've got all the digits. We've got seven, we've got three, we've got two. If we just add those together, that's gonna give us the result. In this case, it's gonna be 12. So we can just keep on applying this process until eventually when we go to divide the number by 10, we get back zero, that's when we know we're done. So let's actually just apply this process now by writing the code for this algorithm. So we'll say here, while the number doesn't equal zero. So as long as the number doesn't equal zero yet, let's get the next digit. We'll say digit is equal to number modulus 10. And we know that's gonna give us the next digit in the number on the rightmost side. We'll add that digit to the sum. So we'll say sum, plus equals the digit. Then we'll take the number and we'll divide it by 10 to give us back the remaining digits we still need to look at. So we'll say number is equal to number divided by 10. By the time we're done this then, we should have found the sum. So let's just output that. We'll say printf sum percent d slash n and we'll output the sum. So now if we run this program and we put in, say, our example input there of 237, we should get back 12. So I'll put in 237 and we get back 12. And so we've written a C program here to sum the digits of a number. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.